Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mia Ravel and I'm a life coach here in Sydney, Australia. I work with people all the way around the world to help them achieve a purposeful and abundant lifestyle through mindset coaching. And in this video today, we're going to talk about how and just when you should leave a toxic relationship. First and foremost, I think that before getting into any sort of relationship, you first need to know your self-worth and how much you value yourself. You need to always have your own hobbies, your own interests, and you need to be okay with being alone and enjoying spending time with yourself. So if you've been in a relationship for a very long time and you're starting to see some signs that you know no longer serve you, that make you unhappy, that make you question your own self-worth, there is a really big problem. So let me tell you guys a story from my own personal experience. I've been in a few situations where I felt like it is time to end a relationship, it is time to leave but I'm so scared because I feel like no one else is going to love me again or I feel like I won't be able to find anyone better and I forget who I am and I start thinking about all right how can I be a better person for them how can I be the person that they want me to be and I was asking myself all the wrong questions when I really should have been taking a deeper look inside myself and who I am remembering what I love to do without this person, going to see friends, doing my hobbies, just doing things that don't involve that other person, things that still bring you alive and make you happy. It is very important before getting into a relationship as well to know your own value and your own self-worth and what you will and will not tolerate in a relationship. I believe that everyone has standards and when it comes to yourself, your integrity, you need to be able to have really high standards for yourself and what you expect from someone else. Especially when you've been with someone for a very long time, it is so easy to just get caught up in the moment and then a few years go by, you start to take each other for granted and you forget how much you mean to each other and how you first met and how you felt when you first met that other person. People do get complacent, people do get lazy and people do take other people for granted, especially after a long time. Now when it comes to thinking about whether you should stay or whether you should go, it's all a matter of knowing yourself. What can you tolerate? What can you put up with? What don't you want anymore? What do you want more of in your life? You need to be asking yourself these questions to be able to make the tough decision. However, there's a lot of circumstances that people come to me and they're like, you know, I'm married, I have children, financial issues. I know it is very tough in those circumstances, but at the end of the day, you really have to do what's best for you and what is best for your children as well. If you are in, let's say, an abusive relationship and you're worried about finances, you don't have anyone to turn to, you're worried about what people are going to say and think about you, at the end of the day, it's your life and you can't live your life according to what someone else says or thinks about you. Everyone has their own insecurities. Everyone is, you know, going through their own struggles. But you are the CEO of your life and you have to determine which direction you want to head. And if you know that you are not heading down towards, you know, an abundant path, then what the hell are you doing? You need to really come face to face with yourself and work out who you are, the type of person you want to become or who you want to be, what you want for your life, what do you want to create, and what you also expect in another person. And that other person has to be on the same level as you. Like me and my partner, we think differently. Sometimes we have different values and different goals, but we are on the same path. We understand that if we're going to be together for a very long time, you know me pretty well and you know what I can and can't tolerate and won't put up with and I know what you expect out of the relationship as well. It goes both ways. I know that it is so easy to allow someone's thoughts and opinions to rule your life, especially when you have lost sight of who you are and you are just feeling lost and stuck and do not know who to turn to, where to go 
of what you should be doing, what is the right decision, should you stay or should you go. I think when you start asking yourself should you stay or should you go, I think that is a big indicator of where your relationship is heading and what you sort of want to avoid. It's never really just the right time or it's never just an easy decision. You have to weigh the pros and the cons of the relationship. And also you need to ask yourself why are you still in this relationship? What is keeping you there and what is holding you back from progressing further with your life and doing the things that make you happy? I think a lot of us, especially myself, when I was thinking about whether I wanted to stay or leave a relationship, I was focusing so much on what the other person isn't giving me, what the other person isn't doing. Why isn't this other person being more active, being more loving, being more understanding and caring? Why aren't they communicating? Instead of really taking a look at myself and asking myself, have I done everything that I can to help save this relationship and to make this relationship as good as it can be. You need to ask yourself how long are you willing to put up with going underappreciated, going unnoticed, feeling unloved and feeling insecure. When you enter any sort of relationship that other person as well as yourself you both have to bring value to the relationship. You both have to be getting something from the relationship and instead of always thinking about you know what you're getting from the other person you also have to know what you are bringing to the relationship as well because that is when you know your own self-worth you know what you can and what you won't tolerate with there's a lot of hard decisions that need to be made and i know it's not going to be easy it is never easy and it's never the right time you are just wasting time by holding on to something that is no longer there and i know and sometimes i even when a whole year go by staying with someone, hoping that things will change, hoping that things get better. But generally when you start to feel a certain way for a long period of time, you sort of get stuck in that bubble and it gets harder and harder for you to leave. The more you keep thinking about it, the more you keep crying, the more you keep wondering. Everyone deserves to be loved and appreciated. I think one of the hardest realizations in a relationship is that it is over and that it is time to let go and it is time to move on. It is one of the hardest things to come to turn with because we've grown to love someone over so much time spent together, so much invested in the relationship and it is hard just to give that all up because you do think about that, you know, you are a failure, what are people going to think, but this all comes back to you have to be in control of your own life and your own decisions and you are strong enough to live this life and go through all of the challenges that life has to offer. I believe that you're put on this earth for a reason and this reason is to make a difference especially in your own life and to other people's life as well. And in return do you need to hold yourself to a higher standard that you expect that same level of respect and love and appreciation back. If you are not getting that you need to rethink about who you choose to be as a partner or as a friend or as a business partner. It comes with every decision that you make in your life. They say that who you surround yourself with is who you become. And if you're stuck with a negative partner or someone that abuses you or talks down to you or doesn't appreciate you, you start to create that world for yourself. And what starts happening is a snowball effect which people around you are going to pick up on your energy as well. They're going to pick up that something is wrong and there's only you know, a certain level of tolerance that people can see you keep going through the same thing over and over. Like in my situation, I always used to run to my friends whenever things didn't go right in my relationship or I needed advice or they did or said something and I'd be crying again and again and again. One of my friends said to me, you really, really need to think about whether this person is right for you or not. I know you don't want to hear it and I know you want a quick and easy solution that's just going to fix things and that's going to make everything better. But you really need to start thinking about what's best for you and your life going forward. One of the questions that I got from one of my girlfriends when she was thinking about leaving her partner, she's like, how many chances 
do I give this person? Like, when is enough enough? And I honestly think that if you have to ask me that question, you know that enough is enough. And yes, I do believe, especially if you're married and if you have children, you're going to fight, you're going to have arguments and disagreements. But the way people should fight in a relationship, especially with me and my husband now, we have to communicate everything and I keep expressing that communication is the key to any great and lasting relationship because if you're the only person in the relationship communicating, putting in the work, putting in the effort, you need to really reevaluate: is this person worth keeping, is this person worth it to stay around or can you work things out together or can you not? These are the questions you need to be asking yourself. A lot of the times I find that people, especially girls, they're like, I've put everything into the relationship, he's not putting in his fair share of the relationship. And at the end of the day, you can't make anyone love you and you can't make anyone appreciate and value you. That is what you need to do for yourself. And as much as you love someone else and you want the relationship to work, sometimes you have to realize that everything in life happens for a reason. You need to reevaluate is this relationship worth it? Is it going to serve me in the long term? Can I see it getting any better? Can I see from him that he's putting in as equal amount of effort as I am? And you know what? Sometimes. The other person is matching your effort but there's just not an agreement on what you want from each other and how you want the relationship to go. I believe that every single relationship should have goals that they need to maintain and strive for. I do believe that there needs to be some sort of common ground and some sort of understanding in the relationship because without that the relationship is bound to fall apart. And if you're still stuck in limbo or thinking whether you should stay or whether you should go, you need to ask yourself that how long are you willing to stay in this situation before it could possibly escalate or it could possibly get better. But in order for your relationship to get better, you need to both be willing to put in the effort and do whatever it takes to make your relationship a success. So you may have or may not have seen um, a video post that I did about a year and a half or two years ago on domestic violence and for me in that situation for a very long time I was a girl thinking about whether I should stay or whether I should go. I think in that relationship I got so caught up in trying to please someone else and trying to be that girl that he once fell in love with, the girl that he said yes will you be my girlfriend, you know you try so hard to please someone else that you lose sight and you lose focus of what you're trying to achieve for yourself and your own life and it is very hard when it comes to that decision of whether you should stay or whether you should go. For me, my girlfriends, my closest girlfriends and my sister played a big role into helping me see the bigger picture and what was going on. A lot of people didn't know what was going on for a very long time and I tried really hard to make it seem like I had the perfect relationship and I had the perfect life but behind closed doors I was so unhappy, I was so miserable and I kept wanting better for myself and my own life and a part of me couldn't let go because I still wanted to be that girl for him. And sometimes it does take reaching out or confiding in a friend or a close family member about your situation and what's going on because the people closest to you want the best for you and sometimes they can see what you can't and they will help steer you in the direction that you should be on. And if you're putting your own health and happiness aside for someone else and to try and live up to someone else's expectations, you really need to tell yourself that something needs to change today. Something needs to change in you and in the way you think and the standards that you hold for yourself. They say that the definition of insanity is repeating something over and over again and it's not working. You're not getting the results that you want. So you don't want to be one of those people that goes round and round in circles time and time again only to realize that a few weeks, a few months, a few years have gone by and you have achieved nothing in your relationship and in your life. When I was speaking with a client a while back, I remember she had her heart set on leaving she knew that, that nothing was going to change in her relationship and she knew that she deserved better and wanted better and just needed to go. 
However, her other dilemma was if I leave him, he's not going to know how much I love him and how much I do value the relationship, but it's just not working. I think what you need to remember is, is that you can't make anyone see what you see. You know how you feel, you know what the relationship meant to you, and that is something that no one can ever take away from you. And despite how the other person is feeling, you may or may not get a reaction that you weren't hoping for. Um, I know that people worry about if I break up with them, what are they going to think of me? Are we going to be friends? Are we not going to be friends? Like, what is the last impression that they will have of me if I decide to walk away? Now, you can't and will never be able to control how people react to what you're about to say or what you're about to do. You have to just focus on that this is what you want and you're going to be a person of integrity and handle it with some dignity. You don't have to be cruel about it and other people may be spiteful towards you and your decision or they might not agree with you but you have to honestly just do what's best for you. You have to understand that you cannot control other people's reaction to you and what they're going to say about you or even behind your back and you're not always going to please everyone else and some people might think that you're making the wrong decision your partner might even convince you to stay and that they're sorry but how many times have they said sorry how many times have they proven to you that they are someone worth keeping someone that you want for a very long time in your life you don't want to be wasting time and you definitely don't want to devalue yourself and what you're worth in a relationship. You should know that you're an amazing person and that you have a lot to offer in this life and to someone else and you deserve to be loved and appreciated and you deserve someone to treat you with the same respect that you are willing to put in the relationship as well. So I would love to hear your thoughts and any advice that you have on other people that may be watching this and may be thinking about whether they should stay or whether they should go in a relationship. Have you been in this situation before? If so, what did you do and what was the outcome for you? I would love to know. Please leave me a comment below and if you haven't already, please subscribe as I post videos every single week. Till next time, I hope that you find it in your heart to forgive and to love yourself and to walk away from anything that no longer brings you joy and happiness or serves you. Bye guys.